what's up? You have reached day two of the 30 day simplify your life challenge. If you don't know what the 30 day simplify your life challenge is, I will leave a link down in the description below for you to get some more information on it. And we're kicking off the decluttering by decluttering your wardrobe. Because decluttering your clothes is kind of easier and it's kind of fun, hopefully it'll put you on a little bit of a high so that you're ready for the next two weeks of decluttering. So the first thing to do if you're going to declutter your wardrobe is to create some guiding questions to help you when you are decluttering. Some example of guiding questions are things like, does this fit into my color palette? For me, my color palette is black, gray, white, nude. I know I'm so basic. So write down some guiding questions that are sort of specific to you, specific to your personal style to help you for when you're decluttering your wardrobe. My questions are pretty simple. So I'm going with, does this fit my color palette? Does this piece go with anything else in my wardrobe? Does this fit? properly and is it comfortable? And then does this piece make me feel good when I wear it? This isn't in the challenge email that you guys would have received, but I also put sort of a goal for myself. So, so my goal is to have a wardrobe containing pieces that I love and I wear regularly. So by the end of the challenge, if I can look at that and be like, yeah, that's how I feel, then I know that today has been a success. The next step is to take all of your clothing out of its normal space. So these are all of my clothes. I've got all of my jumpers, my dresses, and my tops basically in here, but I also have a second place where I store all my clothes, which is in here. This holds all of my pants and my skirts and then my shorts. I'm gonna chuck everything on my bed. Next up, sort your clothing into categories. So chunk your clothing down into the categories that they fit into. I'm gonna put a big list of categories above my face on the screen. Doing it this way is really good because it sort of breaks things down into chunkable steps so you can take it one category at a time. When you're decluttering, don't forget about the little things like your socks, your underwear, like your jewelry, your shoes, everything. So I'm just gonna go through all of my clothes and just chunk them up into sections. That way I can just take it one section at a time. So these are all of the shoes that I own. I can confidently say that I wear every single pair of shoes. These ones only come out when I need to go and grow showers at like festivals or camping. So this is my bed covered in all of my clothes. These are all of my jumpers, coats, everything like that. I've got all of my top singlets there. I've got my play suits. So once you've chunked your clothing down into those categories, you can consider them against your guiding questions. So pick up your piece of clothing, ask your guiding questions, and if you find that the piece of clothing doesn't fit into your guiding questions, be ruthless and let that piece of clothing go. Some super quick halfway progress shots, the lighting is going to get terrible soon because it's getting dark. This is the pile of clothes that I am keeping and this is the pile that I'm getting rid of. So far, my get rid of pile is actually bigger than my keep pile. Okay, back to it. I forgot, I'm keeping these two, they weren't on the floor. Okay. Now. What? So I'm basically done, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. It looks kind of even. So this is my to go pile and this is my to keep pile as well as those on the bed there. I'm keeping all of my shoes because I 110% know that I use all of them. After you've gone through all of your clothing and you've been ruthless with your guiding questions, return the clothes that you want to keep to their designated space. I've preached it before and I will preach it until the end of time. Folding your clothes vertically is the best way to store them, in particularly with shorts and with pants and with skirts. I find that they're the best types of clothing to actually fold vertically. I put all the clothes that I'm keeping back into their allocated drawers. So we've got this drawer. There's not too much difference here. And then this is my wardrobe. I feel like this makes me so happy. <laughs> my one and a half for two bags of clothing. I'm going to donate my coat hangers as well. I didn't realize how much I needed that like final kick of minimizing my wardrobe. I thought I was at like a really good level, but looking at it, I'm just like, yes, look at that. Beautiful, so beautiful. So anything that needs to be discarded, so clothing that's probably too poor quality to go to a thrift store or too damaged, get rid of it. And anything that you need to donate, bag it all up, take it to the boot of your car, and if you can, 
take it straight to the thrift store. So at the very least, set a reminder in your calendar for when you are going to take the clothes to the thrift shop. And after you have done all of those steps, you can sit down, celebrate how freaking fabulous you are for even getting to this day in the challenge. It's gonna be really hard for some people to stick it out in this challenge, but the fact that you even started it, like, go you, you're fabulous. I'm so proud of you. Treat yourself to some tea, some coffee, perhaps a wine, whatever you're into. You deserve it, and I will see you tomorrow for day three. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel using the subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next day of the Simplify Your Life Challenge.